Hello friends and enemies, it's me, V. I have PCOS, that's why I have a beard. That's not why I'm here though. I'm here because I just got shipment from Tammy. Tammy Holmes. I don't know why the fuck I was looking. I thought this was a webcam. It's not a webcam. Anyway, I have in my hand edible crystals. Here's the thing. Um, the edible crystals... I ordered them, and I got them on the 11th, but I was not here in Madison to get them. Uh, I ordered them over holiday, which I, I didn't think of. And then I was like, yeah, I'll get them over holiday. And then I was like, oh, shit, I got them over holiday. And there was a bunch of other stuff, but yeah. So anyway, that's what happened. Um, I ordered two. So this is what happened. This, this. An actually handwritten thank you from Tammy Holmes herself. And then my packing slip. I ordered edible crystals assorted. I also ordered peony and skull edible crystal set. I asked for the, I asked for birthday cake flavor because I like birthday cake. That's my favorite. That or vanilla. Ooh, she also gave me one that I just, I just crunched it in between my hands. This one is mango, and it says, it says, thank you. It was written, thank you, and it's mango. Now, this is, this has been in zero degree weather, so it's going to be cold and crunchy, but let's, let's give it a taste. Crunchiness. And then the jelly kind of, it kind of separates into little balls. Where it's breaking off, as you can see. You can't see. You can't see, but it's like breaking off. Like, I'm just... It goes into little pieces. But the little pieces kind of taste like pear. And then... And then I get mango. It's I like it. These are the two. I need to drink water. And see... This is what it looks like, as you can see. Oh, I like the packaging. It's a nice packaging. Unfortunately, I do not have nails. They are all broken off, which I'm trying to mend. Um, I have butch I have Brutus by Butcher's stuck in my head for some reason. I have certain lines of it stuck in my head, and I'm just like, that would be great as a... So this opens... Crystal can crystal candy. Tammy Holmes. And of course, pull it open. And then I got birthday cake. And I got the pina colada. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's cute. And then I got the birthday, which is a giant rose. It's in glitter. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Oh. Oh, that tastes like a that tastes like a that tastes like a birthday cake. If you don't know me. I like birthday cake. That is my favorite flavor. Oh my gosh. I like, I'm tasting the Finetti. Okay. So what I'm noticing with this one, if I bite a little bit more. I'm still having it break apart, kind of like jello. But I'm feeling the crunchiness of the outer shell. But I'm also getting the taste of birthday cake. And birthday cake to me tastes of funetti of funfetti as well as vanilla slice cake with funfetti in there. That's what a birthday cake to me is. And it tastes just like it. That's the flavor. So I definitely like this. This is definitely one of my favorites. I'm probably going to eat a little bit more and then we're going to leave it out at room temperature and see if the composition 
isn't totally messed up because I left it outside. Like, I want to take a lot, a bigger bite, but I also haven't eaten actual food, so then I'm, well, no, I take that back. I had two tacos. So I, I should save room because I do have Home Chef that I have to cook. Well, Oh, yeah. Birthday cake, baby. But we're going to stop. We're going to stop. We're going to stop and come back, okay? It's the new day. Um, This is actually a peony rose. As you can tell, I ate the majority of it last night while it was cold and also while it was warm. If you're getting this type of candy, make sure you don't get it during freezing temperatures, but also make sure you don't get it when it's super hot because I feel like that would ruin the candy. But um, it's still delicious, even... It kind of, in my mouth, it kind of feels like, have you ever had Orbeez? Not like that, not like that. But I mean, have you ever had Orbeez where you've squished them in your hands? Which I know some of you have because you were bored and you were like, what is this made of? And then it kind of gets to the granny a little bit like that. It feels a little bit like that in my mouth. Which, if you don't like texture, I guess that could be a thing. But again, I think that has to do with the fact that I, again, freaking froze it by not getting it when I should have. But I really like it. It's really delicious. Um, birthday cake, I could get more of. No, it's the birthday cake. There also came a pina colada. The pina colada, as you can see, is not my jam. And that's because of the simple fact that I can really taste the coconut and pineapple. Now, the only reason I will drink a pina colada, or sometimes I have a pina colada, is because there's rum. And rum is one of my drinks of choices that I absolutely adore. And if you give me something that's got rum in it, I'm going to have a fun time. But there's no rum in this, obviously. So I'm just tasting a lot of coconut, and I'm not a fan of coconut. Like, toasted coconut, I'm a fan of, because you can put it on top. But if it's in the entire thing, I'm just going to be like, this is toasted coconut. I don't like. Unless it's a Samoa, Girl Scout cookie Samoa. Then I will be like, okay. Or Caramel, Del Caramel Delight. Although, I like Samoas more, because it has a little bit more of the toasted coconut. Which, if you're a Girl Scout, or if you're not a Girl Scout, they have different types of cookies, like the shortbread and the trifle, trifle, trifle is a lot more cookie, whereas the shortbread, which I used to have, tastes a lot more buttery, it's more buttery cookie, anyway, that's besides the point, yeah, I did Girl Scout cook, yeah, I did Girl Scouts, I was in Girl Scouts for, for quite a while, now, I did open up the new box, this is the assorted box, uh, it was 20, it was 25, for the pina colada and the peony, the birthday cake and the pina colada that I got. And then 32, I believe, was for the assorted. Do I have the paperwork? I have the paperwork. That is not the paperwork. Okay. That's on me. <coughs> and then 32 was for the assorted. This is what the assorted crystals come in. This is... Crystal candy. Crystal candies are designed from a sweet or Yeah, I fucked up. You'll find out why. Edible crystal candies are designed from a Japanese sweet known as Ko Kokakutu. This vegan candy is light in flavor. It's made with agar, a flavorous algae. They can be eaten on they can be eaten on their own as a special treat or used to fancify desserts such as candy or cupcakes. For crunchier crystals, remove from plastic wrapper and set in open air. Over time, candies will continue to crystallize and dehydrate, creating extra crunch. Ooh, I gotta try that. 
Then it has the ingredients, which is sugar, agar, fruit extract flavoring, food coloring, food grade gold, edible glitter, and vegetable oil. I will just say, um, my lips are popping. I noticed that last night after I finished the first bit, the first part, I was like, ooh, my lips are, they're very um, glittery. They're glitter-tastic. For optimal taste, please consume within 60 days of purchase. No re refrigeration needed. Due to sharp edges and potential choking hazards, hazards not recommended for children under seven years. And then this. This is what it looks like. This is, this is what it is. You know what? I'm going to look online. Okay, so I messed up. It's actually $33. I'm on her website now. It's $33 for the peony and the edible crystal. And then for the edible crystals assorted pre-order, it's $35. Um, I'm looking at them now. It's $12. So I got $12. And I counted. I counted while I was off. I counted how many I had. And so we're going to go over them. This one is berry. This one is lemon. Okay. Some of these I am going to probably post on TikTok. This is watermelon. I'm really interested in trying the watermelon. And I smelled passion fruit. Banana. I hate banana. I hate banana. I hate the flavor of banana and lemon. And this is going to be interesting. Cherry. Oh, I like the, I like the flavor of cherry. This is what it looks like. I like the flavor of cherry, so I'm very excited about that. Lychee. I adore lychee. So this is gonna be this is gonna be amazing. This is I was hoping for lychee. I was hoping for passion fruit. Passion fruit. I was hoping for passion fruit. You don't understand. I was static for passion fruit. Which one is this? <gasps> and it's got dragon fruit. Sorry. Sorry that that just escaped my mouth. It wasn't a burp, but it was something. I don't know what the, f I don't know what it was. Peach. I really hate the fact that I ate, I don't have water to get rid of the birthday cake taste. Cause I want to try it blind. And then I have orange. I have apple cider. Ooh, apple cider. Because here's the thing. I'm going to, after I finish this. Lime. I got the majority of the flavors that I wanted. I was kind of scared when I was doing this because she said that each box contains one of the following of following flavors because this is 12. These are 12 just random flavors. You have apple, apple cider, banana, berry, birthday cake, which I had, cake batter. Cake batter is kind of tasty too. Cherry vanilla, coconut, dragon fruit, yes, lemon, Lime, lychee, mango, marshmallow. Marshmallow, I was kind of hoping I got, and I had to pick between the birthday cake and marshmallow, and I could not choose. I'm going to tell you right now, I so wanted marshmallow, but I really, really love birthday cake. Like, birthday cake and cookies and cream are like my top two flavors behind vanilla. I'm that boring. That's that's my Those are my three flavors where I'm like, I'm going to pick, or cotton candy. It's vanilla. Cookies and cream, birthday cake, then cotton candy. Actually, cotton candy might be above birthday cake. But it all depends on different things. Sorry. Mojito, orange, passion fruit, pe peach, pear, pina colada, pineapple, some more, strawberry, watermelon. So that's all of them. I am super excited. I'm really excited to try these and I really want to take her up on her offer, not her offer, but her suggesting that you leave them out and then they become super crunchy. The only thing is I have gnats in my apartment and I don't want those little sons of bitches to go on my candy because then I'm just going to start freaking out and go Godzilla on the gnats.